It's not necessary to reach the maximum rank to start enjoying Lynx. She is one of the most powerful heroes right now in the meta, without any doubt. But since Link's gameplay mechanics are very unique and different from all other heroes, that we get used to them. Players make so many mistakes while playing her. And with honesty, I'm judging no one, because I have indeed found some difficulties playing her by myself at the beginning. And I can tell you she is not hard to use as you don't have to be a skilled player, but she is really tricky due to her two firing modes. And that's the one thing which you have really to be careful of. As it might cost you losing a gunfight if you didn't switch your shooting mode at the right time and in the right place. Before we continue, I would like to show you my page on Patreon. By being a member, you get early access to my new and upcoming videos before their release on my channel. Exclusive access to special videos made only for my Patreon page. In addition to voice chat with me on all weekends, also, I will add you to my friends list in Bullet Echo. You can get all these perks only for $5, while you are going to support me to create even more amazing content. Now, how you can know which firing mode to use, it actually depends on your attack or defense strategy. Let's say there is an enemy spawn near you, and there are so many obstacles and walls surrounding them. In this case, you can use her normal shooting mode because it will help not only get enemies off guard, but also get some speed for yourself. But, and it might help you dodge their bullets. I like personally using her normal shooting mode as it gives you more options in battle. Like the crazy speed and the fire rate is pretty decent for a sniper hero like Lynx. But this doesn't mean you have to use her first shooting mode all the time. Her second firing mode, on the other hand, is insanely powerful against tanks, but only if you know how to control Link's movements. As her fire spread is not good, and you might miss a lot of shots almost all the time, especially if you can't position yourself well. That's why before you shoot an enemy, make sure you have a good position, and read your next moves in case you got hit, then use the firing mode that best works for you in that situation. 